Hey. 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 All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. <sighs> and we just uh, we just earned the second badge, the second badge of Johto. And now we're ready to leave Azalea Town. We actually we're not ready completely yet. Um, remember when we went through the forest, there was a tree that was blocking the path. We weren't un a we were not able. I almost said like we weren't unable. We were unable to get past the tree because we didn't know a we didn't have the move cut available to us. And B, we didn't have the badge needed to use the move cut, which was unavailable to us. But now we have the move cut. Please tell me. Please tell me someone other than Perry will be able to learn cut to get down the tree. Cut down the tree. I would hate to get rid of a move from Perry just for this cut. Okay. Literally everybody. Good. Good. Hey, Tooth. Guess what? <laughs> guess what, Tooth? You're learning cut. For those of you who don't know, I never... I don't like teaching HMs besides Surf and Fly to Pokemon that I plan on truly using. So guess what, Tooth? You're going to learn Cut. You're going to get rid of Tackle. I believe Cut's better than Tackle. Yeah. Cut is a better move than Tackle anyways. So here you go. Hold this Cut for me, Tooth. Poof. And Tooth learned how to use Cut. There we go. So now we can get past the tree that is in the Ilex Forest. Uh, let's see. Can we? Yes, we can still check this this uh this apricot tree here. Remember, uh, Kurt's not ready yet. Next next session, I promise, Kurt should be good. White apricorn. All right. Add that to our collection, and we can head on out. Uh, the apric the apricorns regrow, I guess. Every 24 hours, or every every day. I don't think it's every 24 hours, because it hasn't been 24 hours. But every day, uh, a new apricorn will grow. Let's talk to this guy. I like sport. Oh, we talked to him already. Forget it. We're not talking to him anymore. Bye. Bye, old lady. We're back in the Ilex Forest. All right. Looks a little different during the daytime, doesn't it? Here's the Kakuna. We already got our encounter. And we already got our, our cocoon in here. We won't be we won't run into any Pokemon that we will be able to catch until we get out of this forest. So we come up to this tree here. We have we have uh, tooth go to work. That's a nice that's a nice sound effect for our cuts, you know. Alright, so what's on this side of the forest? C dot! There are C dot on this side of the forest. Alright. I can get with it. Sadly, we can't catch it. C dot would be great. C dot would be great. Can I please look at this thing before I get into another encounter? And it's a Kakuna, no less. Eventually, I'm just going to get tired of too many encounters. I'm just going to have jump cuts between each one. Or have transitions between each one. All right. I like Forest Shrine. It's a tribute to the forest protector. All right, maybe one of these days we'll find something out about this forest protector. That's a that's foreshadowing. Let's get out of this forest. <laughs> Let's get out of this forest. What does the sign say? Trainer tips. Alex Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Those two sentences don't correlate. They, they they don't they don't mean anything to each other. This guy, can we get to this guy? Not this way it seems. Might have to go around. Let's see. Oh, there's another woman. We're gonna go around first though. I told you. Eventually I would get tired of it. Eventually I would get tired of it. I'm already there. Uh, oh, this man. He's wizzy. He? He's headbutting. He's headbutting trees. What am I doing? I'm shaking the tree choosing headbutt. Oh, it's fun. Here, you try with your Pokemon too. Okay. He's going to teach someone headbutt. Um, nobody really has a bad move set anymore. Uh, how about, let's see, he knows Hyper Fang. We need to keep Hyper Fang. Can we teach Waste headbutt? 
Ah, Waze can't learn a headbutt. Dang it. How about Viper? Dang it. No. Okay, I don't want to teach anyone else headbutt. I don't want to ruin anyone else's moveset. But what headbutt lets you do is... Basically, you headbutt trees. You headbutt the trees, and there's a potential that you can see a Pokemon from in the trees. They're all, they'd are all they be Pokemon that we haven't seen here in the forest so far. So it gives you an opportunity to see, um, see Pokemon you haven't encountered yet. All right, we're going to get out of this forest. Oh, there's another woman. Come on, old girl. Come on, old girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Elex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of the forest? Woman, we saw you before. You talked about our, our egg that is now Starla the Cleffa. Fine, I'll get you out of here. We'll get this woman out of here. Will you? You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Obviously, Perry knows the right way to go. Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. Learns from the best. See you. All right, Perry. Good work. Good work. You got to have a bit of chivalry about yourself, Perry. Proud of you. It's a rare candy. We got a rare candy. That's what's up. All right. Let's be out, Perry. Hey, there's the exit. Uh, this woman. Did you see the shrine that pays homage to the protector? This protector watches over the forest from across time. I think that it must be a grass type Pokemon. Okay then. Okay then. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this TM for a change. TM 12. Would that be sweet scent? It's taunt. Okay. Use it, and the target Pokemon can only use moves that do damage to your Pokemon for a while. Why would I want to use that? Why would I want to use that for my Pokedex? That doesn't make sense. Try again, lady. Try again. We're on Route 34. That is a new route, correct? Let's check the map. Okay, so this is Route 33 leading up to, the, up to Azalea Town. And this is Route 34. Yes, we are indeed on a new route. We'll be on a new route until we get to the next city. So let's see. What can we encounter here? First off, we're going to move uh, Perry out of the front. Who who, who has a, a, the best move set for catching Pokemon? Honestly, I think it might be Tooth. I think it might be Tooth. Uh, it could be. Actually, it's Viper. Viper has the best move set. It has Glare and then it has Poison Sting as well. In case it's something that can't be uh, paralyzed. All right. What we got? What we got? A Makuhita. Not bad at all. A fighting type on the team. All right, Viper. Let's go to work. Start up with an Intimidate. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll hit it with a Glare. Now it's paralyzed. It ain't going nowhere, buddy. Sand attack. Here we go with the Sand attack. Uh, poison Sting for the soul. Come on. Another sand attack. I'm, I'm not with it. I'm not with it, Makuhita. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Viper. You got to get it together. Vital throw. Okay, it's only six points. It's fine. Here's a sting. Hold that sting for me, fam. Arm thrust. He knows a good set of moves. He knows a very good set of moves, boy. Come on, Viper. One more sting should do it. We need another. We need another sting. Come on, Viper. I don't want to switch. I don't want to switch because anyone else. Anyone else will either kill it or will die to it. Come on. Come on, Viper. Focus energy. Great. Come on. Well, here's a vital throw. Uh, come on. Just how about how about we wrap this one up? There we go. 
Okay, good. Ain't do too much. Paralyzed. All right, we're in the perfect zone. We're in the perfect zone. Here is a Pokeball. Come on. Come on. All right. We got a Makahita on the team, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check the Pokedex for Makahita so I can have an idea what to name it. Or, I should say. Makihita, the guts Pokemon. It toughens up by slamming into thick trees over and over. It gains a sturdy body and dauntless spirit. How about I teach it headbutt after a while? I'll teach it headbutt after a while, but first we gotta give it a nickname. Uh, this is. I'm taking this from the uh, from the Pokedex entry. It said dauntless. First thing I thought was Dawn. Welcome, Dawn. Oh, she's in the wrong box. How do I always end up putting things in the wrong box? I'll get it later. Uh, for right now, we need to get Viper out of the front. We'll put Perry back up front for now. We haven't seen how Perry was thinking, what he was feeling in a minute. How about how about your feels? How about your feels? He's singing music. He's jumping around in a carefree way. We got one of those Pokemon. All right, let's be out and get out the grass at least. There's a couple battles here. Uh, let's go ahead and do these battles. Let's 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 battle it up. Hey. I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger you got. It ain't. It ain't. Watch. Corefish. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Come on. Let's catch Corefish with a peck. It's water tight, so our bubble's not going to do too much to it. And it's got hardened. Of course, of course it has hardened. Why wouldn't it have hardened? Here's a here's a metal claw. Vice grip. Uh oh. Okay. Only six. Here's a bubble. Slow down. There we go. And he's got his own bubble. What a copycat. What a copycat. Uh, let's catch you with another peck. There we go. In the leer. We got to get rid of it right now. Come on. Good work, Perry. Ooh, that crit, though. Perry to level 19. Who wants to learn Bubble Beam? That's a beautiful move. Uh, 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 Bubble is 20 power. Bubble Beam is 65 power. Hmm. Hmm. Guess we're getting rid of Bubble. <laughs> Bubble Beam is a killer move in um in Gen 1. Misty Starmie knows Bubble Beam? That is a killer. Smoochum. Smoochum, it's uh oh we had a smoochum. Rest in peace, lady. Um Ice and Psychic. Ice and Psychic, how about we go with Scavenger? She knows uh she knows bite and pursuit, I believe. I know it's two dark moves. Come get this business. Yeah, bite and pursuit. Come get this business. There it is. It, that's the business. I should have. I should have. <laughs> I should have named Rattata business. So when I switch out, I could go, all right, come get this business. My Pokemon new moves, I didn't know it had. That confounded me to no end. If you leave your Pokemon at the babysitter and they get so, uh, to a certain level, to where they wouldn't know or learn a new move, then they'll learn a new move. Maybe good, maybe bad. It's Lyra somewhere. Grandpa! Good work. Oh, that's not, that's not Lyra's voice. That's Lyra talking. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as could be. You look fit too. Hi, Chill. What's up, Lyra? Let me introduce you. This is Chill. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Chill. She, she's taking us on a tour of daycare. Grandma, let me introduce you to my friend. This is Chill. Uh, this is your boy friend. I see. 
Hmm. What? Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha. I know. I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Chill? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Poke Gear number. We got, we got Lyra's. We got Lyra's. Her, her phone number. We got her phone number. We got her phone. You know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you, right? They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We are both trainers and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. So, so they're supposed to do cute and entertaining things. Hey, hey, Perry, how are you? He wants to play. All right, we'll play. We'll play. Let's go play. Let's go play, Perry. I was gonna say let's go play later. No, we'll play right now. I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. So we just got the daycare man's number. We got Lyra's grandpa's number. And then we got Lyra's grandma's number. If we want, let's see. We, we later on we could call grandma and see what's going on. <laughs> call us from time to time when we, you give us your Pokemon to raise. I'll be happy to have a use for this Poke Gear my grandchild gave me. All right, so like I said, we can leave Pokemon here um, for the her Lyra's grandparents to raise. They'll gain levels. They might learn new moves. Might even find something special here. All right. We are now in Goldenrod City, ladies and gentlemen. Goldenrod City is a very nice city. It's, it's, I think it's the biggest city in, um, in Johto. It's, it's nice. It's got its own department store. It's got a casino here. If you guys remember, a long time ago, I did a tutorial session on how to play the game that's in here. It's called Voltorb Flip. Um, I'll have that linked at the end of the episode and also in the description if you want to check that out now. But eventually I'm going to come back here. I'll spend a day here playing so I can do a, like an updated tutorial now that I'm more comfortable with doing tutorials. Uh, let's come in here and heal up and see what all we can do within Goldenrod City. Uh, we're going to heal for a hot sec. Just for a hot sec. <sighs> we're, at the, we're at the point where like it's truly an adventure. Like I, like I said, I remember the basics of this game. I just don't remember what all will happen specifically. There's a lot of changes between gold and silver and hard gold and soul silver. So it's, it's, it's new. It's, it's, it's kind of like a new thing. Let's see if we can find the department store and stock up on stuff. How much money do we have? We're not getting broke anymore. I know that much. Okay, we got $4,000. $4,000. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Um... Oh, there was someone who said something about, what was it? I'll, I'll probably have to go back and watch the episode. But somebody said something about a lottery. And I think that's here at the radio station. Let's stop here in the radio station. Who is this woman? Welcome to Golden Rod's Radio Tower. Oh, that's all? I gave you my best voice and that's all you're going to say? This is the Pokemon Lottery Lottery Corner. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If the drawn number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. I love fabulous gifts. Would you like to check today's lucky number? Sure, of course. First, I'll look up today's Pokemon Lottery Corner lucky number. Your lotto ticket is number 03898. Now let's see if it matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon. Nope, no matches. No matches, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk to this woman. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in order to win a row in a row to win a radio card. I almost said to win a row radio card. All right. When you load it into your Poke Gear, you'll be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try a quiz? Sure. I'm going to do this a special way. I, I remember the quiz pretty well. Uh, I'm going to give a pause. I want you guys to gauge your answers and then... We go ahead and do it, all right? I'll go ahead and give the answer. All right, so the first question. Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Uh, 
Yes, yes you can check the town map with your poker gear. The second question. Nidorina can only be female. True? Yes, Nidorina can only be female. Um, the Nidoran family existed before gender was a game in, I'm sorry, gender was a thing in the Pokemon games. So to separate them by gender, what they did was they literally have two different Nidoran. Uh, Nidoran male, it's kind of purplish, and Nidoran female, it's kind of blue. Uh, they evolve up, and the whole time they can only be each of them can only be one gender. The purple one can only be male. The blue one can only be female. So yes, Nidorina can only be female. Third question, Kurt, the Pokeball creator uses apricot as ingredients. No, he does not use apricots as ingredients. He uses apricorns. Also, is he the creator of the Pokeball? Was he there when Pokeballs were first made? That's interesting. Anyways, the answer is no. He uses apricorns. Fourth question. Is it impossible to use a TM on Magikarp? True? Yes. I want to say yes. I could be wrong about this one. Yes, it is impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. As far as I know, the only moves in Gen 4, at least, that Magikarp can learn are Splash and Flail. Neither of those are TMs. He learns them naturally by, or it learns it naturally by leveling up. I think that's true. Okay, good. It's true. Wow. I only have only one more question to go. And Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie? It's kind of a trick question because up until this point, I don't think you have a way to run into anybody familiar with Professor Oak's popular show. You, to, to know this answer for sure, you'd have to bypass this woman we're talking to go upstairs and peek in on the show his talk show co-host her name is mary not marie so no is the answer there we go bingo you got it congratulations you won here's your prize a radio card so now we can listen to the radio on the on the poker gear it actually has and i believe let's see who is that well, you did it. I thought the third I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym. Oh. So that was the gym leader. This ci- A the city has a gym. B that was the gym leader. C, what does Liz want? What does Liz want? Oh, hey, good afternoon. What's up? This is Liz. Listen, listen. I entered the drawing on the 6th floor of the Goldenrod department store. For three hundred dollars, you have a chance to receive a TM. It's a great deal. But I, this, yeah, we had this conversation already. Okay, I'm glad we answered the phone. Then I'm glad we talked to Liz. Are you guys happy? Because this is exactly what I was talking about. We need to go to the sixth floor of the Goldenrod Department Store. It was either sixth or third. We'll check them both out. All right. Fine. I'm happy, guys. Um, we can check the radio now. The radio actually has some function within the game. Um, it makes there's there's music that you can listen to um, on the radio that will actually change your encounter rate with Pokemon in the wild. Also, you can find out information about per- certain Pokemon being in certain places throughout the week. Now, where is this department store? I have no idea where the department store is. I think it might be south. Before, like, right? Is this it? This is probably it. This big building here. Okay, we found it. Good. Okay, so there was a, a lottery on the either the third or the sixth floor. Let's check out the third floor first because it's closer. Hi, lady. How you doing? Uh, can you take us to the third floor, please? Certainly. Elevator going up. Thanks, ma'am. All right. Third floor has battle collection to aim for strong, tough Pokemon. All right. So I'm going to guess this isn't the floor. This is, the, this is a clerk here. These are battle items. They're expensive. They're expensive. I actually don't like using those items at all. 
Uh, I'm really impatient. I use X speed and battle the speed of my Pokemon. That's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. Hey, when you battle, do you use X special? It's awesome. It really jacks up special attack. Now that's how you use that. Okay, so it clearly wasn't this floor. Let's head up to the sixth floor. We'll head up to the sixth floor, and then we could probably explore um, Golden Rod City a little bit more to see what we're doing next. Head up to the sixth floor. But we'll, ex we'll explore on the next episode as well. I was getting that. Apologies. Elevator going up. Thank you. Sixth floor has the rooftop atrium. Don't miss the daily drawing corner. Okay, so this is where we need to be. Uh, let's talk to this woman. The must try of Goldenrod Department Store. Welcome to the Daily Drawing Corner. You can try it for three hundred dollars, and we have wonderful prizes. Would you like to try it? Sure. All right, please draw one. Wow, you've got yourself the number three prize. Please take it. A berry. That's what uh, Liz was complaining about. That she only won berries. They're not gonna get me. Let me <laughs> let me move to the side. Thursday prizes will be number one, TM60. Number two, quick ball. Or number three, a berry. Won't get me. I like I like my money. If you're tired, try the vending machines drinks. Your Pokemon will love them too. These, if I'm not mistaken, these are better versions of potions and super potions. They're better simply because of cost effect of efficiency. Uh, I can buy more. They, they do the same thing, but they cost less. So that means I can buy more for the same effect. Uh, I think I want lemonade. I think I think what we want is lemonade. Uh, let's get... We're going to stock up on lemonade. It won't let me buy them in bulk because it's a vending machine. Uh, oops. I bought a water. We all, we'll be all right. We'll need it, boy. We're just going to go. We're just going to get out of here, okay? <laughs> we're just going to go. All right, we're not going to buy any drinks. We're going to actually take the elevator all the way down. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll heal, and we'll call it a day, guys. Uh, take it to the first floor, please. First floor. Oh, they got a basement. They got a basement. First floor at the service counter in the main entrance. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. All right. Let's... Wait, wait. We had a thing. Mom bought us a thing. Remember? We can buy it. We can pick it up. Let's pick it up right here. Good day. Chill, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Mom. <sighs> mom bought a rappel. Mom bought us a rappel, and she said, I found something, and I thought you'd like it. She bought us a rappel. Did she buy us anything else? No, nothing else. Mom, I'm going to tell mom she can't do this. Mom, you can't, you can't do my money like this. I work too hard. I, I win too many Pokemon battles for this. I win way too many. All right, we're going to heal up, and then we'll continue exploring Goldenrod City on tomorrow's episode. Okay, guys? If you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Ask that subscribe button. And I'll do my best, do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. You adventurers, you. I'm trying to find a new catchphrase. <laughs>